greater than your weakness. His love covers a multitude of four. We have to do something, General. People are really, really dying. And these people speak with conviction. Hallelujah! And I'm wondering if y'all pray for me. What Bible are we reading? What God are we representing? When God is all about love. So when I call you and I condemn you for being human, what God am I representing? When Jesus already prayed for me, I don't need you to pray for my forgiveness. I was telling Pastor Pender the other day, in a meeting I said, some things we pray about we should not pray about. You don't ever have to ask God to forgive you. Amen. Father, forgive me. You are already forgiven. I go ask the Holy Ghost to help me. You don't have to do that. Jesus already told you he was going to help you. All you got to do is receive it. The Holy Ghost, you're not going for the job interview. I need your help. No, no, Holy Ghost, thank you for bringing me to this place. I'm going for it. I know you with me. I know the words in my lips. I know, I know you shining. You know, you know, you shining in me right now. So I'm going to get this job, baby. Me and you going together. Let's make it some tone. Shout out. That's another message I'm going to get to. But when you are sure in Christ, you receive what he's given and stop asking for it. I don't know if you're in a relationship with anybody. Sometimes it happens in my house. When you promise somebody something, they come back and ask you for it. Well, you don't believe me? Now, I'm here when I break a promise. God does it. I get mad. I ain't doing it no more. Somebody say amen. amen. So here's what I'm telling you as we close. I can feel you. There's so much love in this room. Hallelujah. I'm on all the things that grab your neighbor's hand. I'm on all the things that, oh, glory to God. Yeah, I need some music real low. Real low, slow, soft music. Listen to me. Of all the things you've gone through, of all the things that you've encountered, of all the things you're dealing with right now, I want to receive how God sees you. Feel the hand next to you. Feel the love coming through the hand next to you. Because the personal hands you're holding, they feel in you. Amen. And if you don't understand how special you really are, I want you to hear me. You are God's chosen vessel for specific duty. And everything you go through is a part of that journey. Why? Because through you have eternal life. If you're in it, is he? He brought you to it. Because the Holy Ghost is guiding you. So if you're in something you don't understand, that doesn't mean he didn't bring you to it. It means there's a glory after it. When Jesus had his greatest moment, this is my beloved son, whom I'm going to please. The Spirit drives him to the wilderness. Why? Because the wilderness was necessary for his ministry. Every experience, if you can hear me say amen, every experience is ordained. You have eternal life. Every relationship is ordained. How you handle it is up to you. But it's the only one that lasts as long as the eternal plan of God. It can be the best relationship and still fail. Yes. It can be the worst relationship and last for 10 years. Yes. Because it's God's eternal plan. Yes. You could have changed it if you wanted to. Yes. Yes. God didn't hear what I'm saying. Yes. It's eternal life. When the Holy Spirit came into you, he started moving you. Every crack rock I smoked, he was right there. Uh, everything I did he was driving me to because I had to get to this place there was a place I had to get to and in order for me to get there I had to have every, every moment of the spirit I had to cry every tear I had to feel every pain I had to be rejected by the people I had to reject some people but I had to go through hallelujah and what I'm, oh, what I'm telling you this morning is that God has given you the ministry of reconciliation. Don't let this week pass and you don't talk to these three people you know. 
that's angry at God because his servants were disconnected in the message. You to get that. There are people angry at God because us who, those of us who claim to be his servant brought a message other than what he sent. And since you believe that we were representing him, you believed us. That's why it's important to go to the real person when you don't understand. Let me pray for you and we receive our offering. I want you to just squeeze the hand next to you. Turn the music down a little bit. Righteous Father. Father, we are grateful. We are eternally grateful to you this morning, Father. We thank you for the presence of your spirit in this ministry. Father, we come before your holy presence right now as a people who have received the gift of your son, Jesus. Father, we accept him at the value, Father, that you released him. Even when we are born of understanding by faith, Father, we receive the fullness of Jesus Christ. We receive the fullness of salvation. We are eternally saved, Father. We receive the fullness of eternal life. Jesus paid the wages of sin and he gave us eternal life. And fathers, I stand this morning, every hand being held in the sanctuary, I thank you that we receive in its fullness the gift of eternal life. Shut up. We receive the better things that accompany salvation. We receive righteousness by faith. We receive holiness by faith. We receive the inheritance by faith. And Father, all the glory goes to Jesus Christ. Father, I pray right now that every hand being held, that a shock of your anointing would rest in their spirit. And they may understand your love and understand their mission and understand the assignment, Father, that Jesus be glorified. It's not our holiness. It's not our power. We know that you're glorifying Jesus in our midst. I pray, Father, that peace would rest upon every home, that every hand is being held in an extended families, that the peace of Jesus Christ, as a matter of fact, Holy Father, we receive that peace right now in our home. We receive the gift of peace by the Holy Ghost. We are grateful to you, Father. We thank you for choosing us. We give you the glory and praise, and all honor goes to Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that the anointing of prosperity will rest in the spirits of your children, that the anointing of obedience, Father, would rest in the spirits of your children. Amen. Father, the anointing of success, eternal success, yes. that's already here, would rest in the spirits of your children. And for this, God, we'll give you the glory. We'll give you the honor. We'll give you the praise. Thank you for Jesus. In Jesus' name, all who receive it, say amen. amen. All who receive it, clap your hands and give the Lord a clap praise. If you need an offering, then we'll offer your offering. We're not going to do... Please lift your hands as technicians will serve you. You can also begin to prepare your seed.